All right, air signs, let's look at the week ahead. What's going on? We've got a lot happening. We have Mercury going direct. We have a full moon in Aries on the 9th. We have Pluto going direct this week. October is shaping up to be quite, quite the adventure. So let's see where we go for air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, feel free to swap around the energies. I'm looking at things right now in terms of sun signs and rising signs and north node signs. All right. So if this is your uh, sun sign or your rising sign or your north node sign and it resonates for you, cool. If it doesn't, check out the other the other readings. OK, this is an air, fire, earth, water series I'm going to do today. OK, underneath star seed. Did you know that about yourself? Let's see where this goes. Um, every cycle is a higher opportunity. Some of you are going to be learning something new about yourself. You will only see the way by making the way. That card showed up earlier this year and then it disappeared. And air signs, I feel like you're really being asked to step up. Some of you are going to be uh, remembering who you are. You might have some past life dreams. You might have some connection to another person that wakes you up in, well, it could be twin flame. That's uh, one of those relationships that really wakes you up. Um, some of you could be uh, having an awakening or having a, a, a Kundalini or a heart chakra awakening this week. So let's see where we go. Oh yeah, absolutely. Full energy. Look at this, the Ace of Wands, brand new. That's what wants to come out. That, those are the cards that are underneath that are trying to break free a little bit here. Ooh, King of Swords. There's my Aquarian energy. High Priestess, Cancer energy, and then the Hierophant of Taurus, Eight of Pentacles, the Star, Temperance, Aquarius again, and Sag, Two of Cups, Ten of Cups, Six of Swords. So some of you are... You may not know this, but some of you are ready, almost ready for a new relationship that is a spiritual connection. And this is going to be a very positive opportunity. Okay. So the reason this person is here is the spiritual connection between you. I see the 10 of cups here. That's a twin flame energy. I'm seeing a lot of major arcana cards. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. Four out of the nine cards here are major arcana. So not, and then the fool. All right. So maybe, so it's balanced, very balanced. Five and five. Interesting. Um, or five and six, because we have the ace of wands there. So let's start here. I do feel like you are becoming a lot clearer about what you're here to do. And I do feel like this person triggers some kind of leveling up. Okay. This high priestess. Now you could be leveling up into being a high priestess, or you could be leveling up because of a high priestess. Um, this is a potential commitment, life partnership, hierophant showing up. And I think it comes, I think it shows up in a kind of a mundane way. This Eight of Pentacles is one of the cards of the deck that I always think of as like day-to-day -day activities, routines, a little bit of a Virgo energy here, right? Like, you know, what happens on Monday morning? You kind of know what happens on Monday morning, unless you're really changing your routines. Um, some of you may not have that kind of stringent routine, uh, but you could be, you could benefit from it, actually. I think there's something here about making things normal, grounding things a little bit. This is really uh, archetypal energy, very strong spiritual path shift. And it might feel good to kind of ground it in some kind of normal day-to-day -day routine. Um, the person that's coming in or the person that is activating you um, could inspire that. This person could be very, I feel like very spiritual. I feel like this is a supremely spiritual connection. And I almost feel like this is pushing you, your daily work toward healing. 
So some of you may or may not be doing anything like that right now, but the star seed in you is activated. And so you may become a healer. You may be stepping into this new opportunity. Okay. And I like this. You see the way only by making the way that's what's being activated, like the capability of you doing that. Some of you might feel pretty frustrated on your spiritual path right now that I don't know what my next step is. I don't know why I'm watching tarot readings and I'm trying to figure out my next step. I never seem to figure it out. Those of you who feel a little frustrated this week are going to be vindicated because I do feel like this is a moving forward card. Some of you who feel stuck or feel unsure of the next step, all you need to know is to have this inspiration. That's all you need to know right now is just have the idea or have the spark or have the activation. This fall, uh, we have, you know, we're going to be moving into eclipse season at the end. I was talking a little bit about this in the For Whoever reading last night. We have Mercury going direct this week. We have Pluto going direct this week. Thank God. We have uh, Mars full moon on the 9th. So there's a lot of really positive, strong energy uh, of change, of new cycles, of coming into who you are and really stepping into the power of your spiritual path or your powers could be coming online. Hmm. Okay. The star card and then the temperance card. This is an Archangel Michael card. So being more connected spiritually is, it's almost like, I feel like I need to do something, a little series about the Archangels and how to activate them or how to ask them to activate you. We'll do that. Okay. We'll do that. Um, I am traveling this week, so we'll see how how much I can how much I can do. But uh, it does feel to me like that is the work of things: is to activate your archangel guides. They are here to help you. All right, they are here to help you. This is Archangel Michael. I have been working a lot with Archangel Raphael lately, and I will definitely share that with you because this this action, this activation, this coming online is stepping you into the relationship that is meant for you. Okay. That's meant for you. Uh, whether this person shows up and all of a sudden, ah, like you get it, or you're activated because of the work you're doing. I don't know why I'm doing this, but you're activated by the energy of what you're doing in terms of your own healing routines. And then that brings in, this is quite sudden, I feel. And I feel like it happens because of the, it's almost like you just decide to take action. That's what that, uh, the energy of, well, Mercury going direct, because that is, this is elemental air. So Mercury going direct, but also the Mars full moon of like, just take the next step. Okay. That's what's being asked of you. And when you do, all of this opens up. So you might be dealing with a Sag or a Taurus or a Cancer or an Aquarius so I'll take a look at those in the extended air sign. Just take the next step. It doesn't have to be perfect or pretty or even complete. It just has to be inspired. All right. So let's see where we go with this. The link is below for the rest of this reading. If you want to continue on with me, I'll see you over there. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.